Hello and greetings from Eastern Europe, my name is called Bear and this time I prepared you an amazing list of an upcoming sandbox games. Some of them will give you a total freedom and some has limitations, like only 50% of the freedom, so don't expect all of them to be at the same level. Also I won't be talking about games that are in early access from 2016 or 2017. Most of us already know such titles like Brick Rigs, where you can construct various machines from Lego-like bricks. Or or even famous scrap mechanic. Yeah, scrap mechanic is an early access from 2016, the year when you were still young and your scales showed less kilos. Oh, those were the times. Although the full version of scrap mechanic will be released this year, keep an eye on it. It's a really cool game. So let's start the list with Space Engine. This is a one-on-one -on -one scale science-based universe simulator featuring billions upon billions of galaxies, nebulae, stars and planets all shown at their full, real-world scale. That sounds incredible and a bit unbelievable, but it's true. Here you can explore Earth and our neighboring worlds in the solar system, orbit black hole, or even dive into it, or fly to a random galaxy billions of light years away, visit anything in between seamlessly without any transitions, although you can't mess with the given universe like in famous universe sandbox game. Here you can control time, universe appearance and your own vodka intake while playing. Yeah, you probably have to adjust that one more carefully. And while doing that you can travel faster than light or form your spaceship armada and embark on a mission to another planet. And you can even make it real time, so after 10 real years you will finally arrive at Pluto in full glory. You know, you can beat the main story of Skyrim in about 35 hours and here you can actually play for decades. I know, I know, unbelievable. Although you will probably get bored after a day or two or sooner. Anyway, this is a great exploration game, amazing science tool for everyone who loves space. Game is an early access from 2019 and we have to wait for the full release one more year. Satisfactory this is a first-person open-world factory building game with a dash of exploration and combat. Play alone or with friends, explore an alien planet, create multi-story factories and enter conveyor belt heaven. Basically this is a Factorio game but in 3D setting. Here you will conquer nature by building massive factories everywhere, expand wherever and however you want. The planet is filled with valuable natural resources, just wait to be utilized. You will not be restricted by some rules of Earth. You can finally make the nature work for you without any laws to be kept in mind. Exploit the planet in any way you like. Here are no coral reefs, sea turtles, no orangutans protected by treaties. All those animals and plants are unimportant. They live to serve you and your factory. Here you will find about 30 square kilometers of terrain filled with unique flora and fauna. Make factories out of them, build metal constructions instead of ugly nature, cover whole surface of the planet with your elegant conveyor belts and train tracks, be a true hero of industrial era, play alone or co-op with friends and travel through your world of factories using variety of vehicles, from jump pads, factory carts, hyper tubes to trucks or even trains. The freedom this game gives you is incredible. I'm totally I'm totally recommending this one to you. Paralives. This is an upcoming dollhouse life simulation. Yeah, you heard it right. Dollhouse. But don't skip this one yet if you are a man. I believe you are manly enough to watch this one unfold, so you could tell about it to your sister, girlfriend or wife or you know, you can try it by yourself, just for the sheer curiosity. Yeah, curiosity. You're still a man if you play such games. Don't ever let anyone tell you otherwise. So, 
In Paralives, you are free to build homes, create characters and manage their lives inside their homes and all around an open world town. The game features innovative build tools that are easy to use, but they are also powerful enough for advanced builders. The sandbox mode allows players to explore a city full of events, people to meet and ways to make their characters evolve and live a happy life. So basically this is Sims, but different. And like in any similar game here you can play as a serious home designer. Paralives is a very powerful tool for creating your cozy space and some of the ideas you can even even carry to the real world and make your own house look better. Subnautica Below Zero Sequel to a one of the most popular games in the world, Below Zero is an underwater adventure game set on an alien ocean world where you can dive into the freezing underwater adventure. Here, you as a scientist posted to a research station on the planet's surface, you are tasked with studying alien artifacts. The Vesper space station orbits high above you, sending supplies, instructions and receiving samples you launch from the surface. When disaster after strikes the research station, you must improvise to survive, construct habitats, scavenge for resources, hunt for food, craft equipment, explore snow-covered peaks, venture into dangerous icy caves and discover new life forms in the chilly depths. Well, basically your main goal is to stay alive. Yeah, take care of that and everything else will be just fun and games. Among Trees this is your little wood house. Located in the heart of a lush forest, the cabin is expandable. You can build new rooms and unlock additional game mechanics, including food cooking, plant growing and tool crafting. Explore a colorful, breathing world that is filled to the brim with life. There is nothing much to show you except this 50 second trailer from 2018, but I've managed to find some additional info in the creator's website, where you can see showcase of an actual gameplay. Game is about crafting and surviving, so stay safe as you explore, but do what you need to do. Scavenge for food, catch fish, chop down trees and build new stuff and equipment, and also stay stealthy, so that you can avoid the vile, deadly beasts that roam the forest, stay warm during ice-cold blizzards, and who knows what other dangers the night brings. The Video Game Machine here you can make, play and share unique video games that you've made yourself. The Video Game Machine is a sandbox that removes the tricky parts of development and leaves only the fun, putting the power of creativity in your hands. You can choose from a massive selection of heroes, enemies and special items. In Game Editor you can customize your levels with unique terrain and interesting landmarks, build worlds, place enemies, hide items, write dialogue and set rules to personalize personalize the gameplay details. Although game is available to play in alpha, I found the lack of video material kinda disturbing. I've managed to find only this lonely video, released almost a year ago, and it's not impressive at all. Something fishy about this. Although screenshots they provide are way more optimistic, I have no idea what to believe now. I guess we have to wait for developers to release official gameplay video or something. Echo. This is a fully simulated ecosystem bustling with thousands of growing plants and animals living their lives. Build, harvest and take resources from the environment where your every action affects the world around you. An imminent asteroid strike threatens global destruction. Can you save the world without destroying it in the process? Construct buildings and towns, tend to your farm, hunt wildlife, build infrastructure and transportation, craft clothing, build power plants and research new technologies. Also you can specialize in a craft and trade your goods to other players, develop your civilization and sculpt your planet, but try to balance everything, because you know, if you make another satisfactory out there, the poor asteroid will lack things to kill. Imagine how it would feel after flying in the empty space for millions of years, hearing stories about the great asteroid who killed all the dinosaurs, plotting to be 
be even more devastating, to cause even more extinction. And after you finally arrive at your impact point, you'll see that everything is already extinct and your impact will do no actual damage. That is a huge bummer and biggest fear of any asteroid. Please, if you don't care about the nature, think about him. Think about the asteroid and his feelings. Raft Trapped on a small raft with nothing but a hook made of old plastic, you awake on a vast blue ocean totally alone and with no land in sight. With a dry throat and the empty stomach, survival will not be easy. Game reminded me of a book named The Ocean Waves by Thomas Main Raid, written in 1869, where few survivors spent about two months on a raft in the middle of the ocean. One of the favorite books of my childhood. Have you read it? Of course, setting here is kinda relaxing. It's a fun game where you alone or with friends are thrown into an epic adventure out of the big open sea, with the objective to stay alive, gather resources and build yourself a floating home worthy of survival. Expand your floating wreckage to a buoyant mansion, research and craft new things, sail towards new places and dive deep into the depths for more resources. Minecraft Earth I don't usually cover any mobile games, but I'll make an exception this time because by looking at the gameplay, I just want to say The future is now! Here you will discover a new dimension of Minecraft as you create, explore and survive in the real world. Join a community of builders and explorers spanning the planet, collect resources for your build, craft an augmented reality and then place them at life size. Collaborate with other builders and create communal masterpieces together, explore a whole new side to your local neighborhood and watch it evolve over time. So again, you can go and build a giant dick on your friend's lawn just to make fun of him leave your creation in front of his door and wait for the reaction. It will be a real surprise when he finally discovers your secret dick. You realize how this sounds? Oh. Oh. I can hear it now, yep. Mm-hmm. Kerbal Space Program 2 with the original Kerbal Space Program having become one of the most beloved games of all time, second part has been fully redesigned from the ground up to meet the demands of modern and next generation space exploration, all while maintaining the monumental foundations of the first game. Build space program, construct powerful spacecraft, design resource gathering colonies and much more to uncover the secrets of the galaxy. A plethora of exciting new features will captivate veteran and returning players and of course new wave of carbonauts to the ingenious and comedic world that has entertained millions of players. Actually this gameplay footage is looking really cool when comparing with game 1. That's it, main list is over but you can also check on Medieval Dynasty, where you will live your medieval life, Dismantle, where you can dismantle almost everything you see, and Population Zero, sandbox MMO with amazing environments, possibility to build your base and so on. Game will be released in 2021. And now it's the time for you to press like or even subscribe to my channel, so you would never miss another cool video about most interesting games. I always do my research trying to find something no other YouTuber has covered yet. Also think about becoming my Patreon supporter and helping me create more videos. You will get various benefits including Patreon only footage, even $1 a month is a huge help for me. Thank you for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you next time, bye!